The jury system in America has not had a direct linear evolution. The ancient Greeks were the first to rely on certain people in the community to pass judgment in a variety of different cases. At one point, the entire population of Athens was required to hear appeals from the magistrates. And it's not surprising that this process became really difficult to administer. This process was subsequently replaced with a procedure designed to select jury members drawn from a cross-section of the community to work with the magistrate and render decisions in criminal cases. This early type of jury was called a dicastery. The ancient Romans also relied on an early form of the jury. Uh, as far back as 190 BC, for instance, magistrates could assemble a jury for certain criminal acts that included like forgery, counterfeiting, and um, embezzlement. The jury would be comprised of uh, way more than 12 people. Sometimes 35 to 75 different people would serve on the jury, and they would decide whether the accused was guilty. No provision for appeals or verdicts were made. Um, in common law, juries were had a had, had a dual function. They had the responsibility of investigating crimes and conducting trials of the accused. Um, However, subsequent to the Norman invasion, these two responsibilities were divided into separate functioning units. Uh, the grand jury was created to investigate and report crimes, while the pettit jury, um, sometimes we'll just call it a trial jury, was used to determine a defendant's guilt or innocence. Uh, today, these different jury systems continue to perform those same functions in, in America, and that's just a little brief look at the history of juries.